of the Mayo Rose, Kate Heenan. Kate is 27 and is a harpist, violinist and pianist from Castle Bar. Yes, all three. Not much time for Xbox in school, obviously. She also hosts a radio show, which isn't as easy as it looks. The Mayo Rose, Kate Heenan. We have we have turned the kingdom red and green on you this weekend, I think, Bye. We love Mayo people in Kerry. Do we? We love people well, from Mayo. I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy lots to hear it. of red the red, red and mayo. We were hearing lots Don't of that. Don't get them started then. The chorus. <laughs> the chorus is started. They sang it all the way in and they're probably singing all the way out of that. Look here, speaking about music, it's been a huge part of your life. Yes, it has indeed, yeah. I'm I'm a full time musician actually. Mm. It's, a, it's a multifaceted career, so I'm a music teacher, mm. a music performer, I've done radio broadcasting. So yeah, it's a huge, huge part of my life. And in college, what did you study in college? I studied Irish music mm -hmm. in the Irish World Academy at the University of Limerick. I have some of my best friends with me here. And I went on to study my master's then in Ulster University in music composition. I've met a few people who have been through the course in UL, and you know what? It sounds like the best course ever. <laughs> I thought you'd just play around playing tunes all day long, but it's well, not like that at all. Well, there's a lot of that. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After, no, I'm, honestly, it was the best four years of my life. We had an absolute ball. Yeah, mm. we really did. And uh, you've won a few awards with your music, haven't you? I suppose I have. Yeah. Flat Kiona Hair and, and Sheen Sigalin and, and all of that kind of thing going up over the years, yeah. No, we, uh, the flowers on in Mullingar last mm -hmm. week there was great fun there did you miss it did you miss it at all you know, I have to say it was the first time I have missed the flat in about 20 years but it was it was definitely worthwhile I mean being with all my incredible Rose sisters on the Rose tour but uh, yeah I was cheering on my my friends who were competing from the hotel room on our Rose tour yeah, for uh, sure the Piper's Cross Kelly Band yes the I think we've had the Kelly band with us. Uh, they had a big win last weekend. They did. Yeah. They, won, they won the senior senior band uh, competition. I was actually in the band last year. Couldn't do it this year because I was on the Rose of Tree. But sure, no offence, guys. I was, I was kind of delighted to miss it. But I was, yeah. I was cheering you on from the hotel room. Yeah, I'd say they're still celebrating, are they? They'll continue celebrating now this weekend, for sure. Well, so, you write music as well. Yes, yeah. I do, surely. Yes, yeah, so I've actually composed a piece, an original uh, composition uh, for tonight as well, that I... I wrote for my Mayo Rose selection in May. And I suppose I really just wanted to write something to remember this Rose experience. It's yeah. been the most incredible summer of my life. The last two weeks with the girls have been amazing and life-changing. So I did, I wrote this piece in May and I called it Bialpana, which is May Oskelga. And it's kind of symbolic of a transitioning period from darkness to light. And it's also a, a time that celebrates women. So I thought it was very fitting for Certainly. the yeah, festival. Now, during COVID, people were <laughs> stranded. Lots yes. of people couldn't go only probably two or three kilometers up in and around. Yes. Where were you? Yeah, sh look, COVID was unprecedented for us all. It changed the trajectory of all of our lives. But I did, I did find myself in an unusual circumstance. In March 2020, I was just finishing a four month cruise contract um, around Oceania. And we were just leaving on our last cruise from Sydney to Auckland, around a two week cruise around New Zealand. And Jacinda Ardern, the New Zealand Prime, Prime Minister at the time, announced that she was closing all borders. No one was getting in. So we had to do a 180 on the ship and make our three-day voyage back to Sydney. So hang on, you're on a cruise ship. <laughs> yeah. Not a bad place at all to be stuck. No, I Until. guess not. Until yeah. the passengers were allowed to disembark. They took domestic and national flights back to where they, wherever they were from, Europe, Australia, the States. And uh, little do we know, COVID had been spreading mm -hmm. rapidly on the ship. So I was locked in my cabin then for 32 days altogether. So, so were you locked out of the cabin at all? No, we had uh, the Australian Army Defence Force and police walk in the corridors to make sure we couldn't get out. Yeah. Yeah, it was a mad time. But yeah. what about mom and dad? How, how did you stay in contact with them? Uh, uh, Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> Phone calls. Yeah, yeah, I did surely. Yeah. Yeah, and what about the rest of the fam? Lots of Zoom calls, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were delighted to get rid of you, they said. I probably were for a while. <laughs> but, so, but come here, you, you, how did you eat? What? Yeah, so three times a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner, we'd hear a little knock on the door. We'd have to put on our PPE gear, wait 10 seconds for whoever was delivering the food to walk down the corridor, and we'd go collect our little bag of food, and that would do, yeah, then for, for the day over the few hours. So when you got word, okay, you can leave, I'd imagine you were just ready to run out of the place. 
Yeah, we, and then we had to stay in Sydney actually for an hour. So, but the one thing we did actually get business flights back to Ireland, which is a once in a lifetime yeah. opportunity as well. So, it kind of made it all worth it in the end. Uh, Kate, you were telling us about uh, the beautiful piece you wrote called Belgium. Yes. Are you going to play that for us now? I am, surely. Is this the yes. first time anybody has heard it in public? It is, yes. We're in for a lovely <laughs> treat. Kate, if you, if you, Thank if you, you so send much. over by the house. Ladies and gentlemen, with a beautiful piece that she wrote herself called Beltona, on the heart we have our male rose, Kay Heaton. Fantastic music. We have Erica Cody. We'll see you, Dina Renee, the Bo Grisha. Another 